Hey guys, in today's lesson video, let's talk about and let's continue to talk about what we could do to create that effortless speed and power so we can really hit the golf ball far away without giving much effort at all. So in today's lesson video, let's keep it very simple. I'm gonna give you a tip so we can really feel the weight of the club head moving back and forth so we can really feel like we're throwing the club towards the target and then we're gonna add a release concept to that same move so we could hit the golf ball far away even if you feel like we're just chipping some golf balls out towards the range, feel wise. So what we want to do first is, is that we want to create an L-tail golf swing. We're just gonna go back and forth, back and forth and create this L-tail motion. And if you make a continuous motion back and forth, back and forth, you're going to feel a very relaxed motion. And to add on to this is that when most golfers lack distance, what I tend to see is, is that they don't stay relaxed, they're not tense free. They're the total opposite. They're very tensed up and they have a big motion and they're muscling through the whole golf shot. So what I want you to feel in this simple L-tail motion is, is that instead of our hands moving a far amount of distance, what we have to realize is that our hands are gonna relatively stay pretty quiet just right in front of our body in this manner right here. But the club head, the end of the golf club is going to move on a big arc around my body around my body in this manner right here. My hands are not working a far amount of distance. My hands are staying relatively pretty quiet just in front of my body in this manner right here. But my club head is moving a far amount of distance in this manner right here. So there's two type of swing arcs. There's the club arc moving around our body in this manner right here. And there's the arc of our hands moving in this manner right here. Just like as if we're just whipping the club in this manner right here, we could create a lot of speed this way. But as you can see here, the arc of my hands is relatively small. My arc of my hands are not moving all over the place in this manner right here. But if we keep the arc of my hands very small in this manner right here, we could create a lot of club at speed and the club arc, the arc of the golf club is very wide and it's moving around my body. So I want you to feel that motion. So once again, hands not moving, big amount of distance, but the club head has to move back and forth. And if you just try this out, you'll automatically feel a very relaxed golf swing. But to add on to this, for those golfers who don't feel their tension going down, what I, will, I would recommend is, is that grip the golf club like normal with your left hand, then with your right hand, grip the golf club with only the bottom three fingers in this manner right here. So if you just have a little pistol motion right here, the bottom three fingers of the grip it's gonna be in this manner right here. Then from this position, since our thumb and our pointer fingers off the grip, we can't add much power in the downswing in the golf shot. So instead, with our bottom three fingers on the golf club, it's very hard to generate any type of power this way, feel-wise, so that's what we wanna do. So from this position, we're gonna get it back into our setup position, and we're gonna make L-tail golf swings with our grip in this manner right here. Just back and forth, back and forth, and what I'll recommend from this position is to try to hit some small golf shots. Doesn't, the ball doesn't have to go far at all. We're just gonna get into this grip and we're gonna get, go into our back swing. Then just whip the golf club through, just like the same motion where the club head is moving past our body. And from this position right here, as you can see here, if we try this motion out, we're gonna have a tendency to miss the golf ball a little bit off to the right. Let me try again. Really good whip motion, really felt the golf club being thrown towards the target. But once again, the golf ball is moving off towards the right. So what we have to add on from this position is, is that yes, we feel the club throwing towards the target with this effortless motion with this new grip. But what we have to realize is that with this new grip feel, we're gonna have a very good understanding of what it feels like to throw the club towards the target. I guarantee that because with these two fingers off of the golf club and with this l tail motion, you're going to automatically throw the club towards the target. But from this position now, what we have to realize is, is that just because we're throwing the club towards the target very well, that does not mean we're squaring up the club face at impact. So what we have to add on from this grip is we have to add lead arm and lead hand supination in this manner right here. So what it's gonna feel like is, is that, yes, of course, we have to honor deviate, we have to bow our lead wrist, then we could supinate, but to just keep everything very simple, the logo of our golf club, if I had one right here, has to roll over in this manner right here, in this manner right here. So the logo of the golf club is going to turn over towards the ground in this manner right here with the right-handed grip that we worked on 
then we're gonna feel a very good supinated release and we're also gonna feel the whole tense free golf swing. So once again, let's try that motion, the same motion again, but let's add that supination piece and let's see where the golf ball goes. Very tense free. Let's see where the golf ball goes. Hmm, a little overdrawn, but as you can see here, it went a little bit too much to the left than for my liking, but with that same effortless golf swing, the golf shot I hit before was 135 meters and 147 meters. So somewhere around maybe like 150 to 160 yards. But with the shot that I just hit is 177 meters. I know it's a little bit overdrawn to the left, but it was 177 meters, which is roughly around 185 yards. So big difference in distance. And all I had to do was add that supination piece with that very fluid, very relaxed golf swing. And that's how we're gonna create that effortless speed and power. So if you guys combine those two drills together with that supination, with the right-handed grip, with our pointer finger and our thumb off of the grip, you're gonna feel the correct notion of throwing the club towards the target without getting into a position where we get really, really tensed up and locked up at impact. So really try this out. And if you guys have any other questions, please let me know in the comments below. And for online lessons or in-person lessons, I'll leave all the information in the description below. Thanks guys. Right hand grip, relax, supination. Throw the club towards the target. Hmm. Good.